Hey, if you are brand new to GLP-1 medications like Ozempic, Omanjaro, Wegovi, or Zepbound, first off, you aren't alone because the statistics show that more than 25,000 people start Ozempic for the first time every week. And this video is for you. Maybe you've just been prescribed one of these medications, or maybe you're trying to decide if they're actually right for you. Either way, today I'm going to walk you through uh, exactly what these medications do, uh, how they compare to each other, and what to expect when you get started. And also, what lifestyle changes will help you get the best and the maximum results possible. So let's go ahead and get into it. What are GLP-1s and how do they work? GLP-1 agonist medications were originally designed for people with type 2 diabetes, but they've been discovered to be incredibly effective for weight loss as well. We now know how they work by mimicking a hormone your body naturally produces after you eat. And this hormone also slows down digestion, it helps control blood sugar, and lastly, sends signals to your brain telling you that you're full. So the result? You feel satisfied with smaller portions, you're less likely to snack between meals, and you gain control over hunger that for so many people used to feel overwhelming. Many people say it kills food noise, that voice in your head that says, go ahead and get something to snack. These meds don't magically burn fat all by themselves though, but they do give you the space to make better choices. And that space can be life changing. Actually, I've seen it in action. I've seen it make a big difference for so many people looking to make a lasting lifestyle change. So we've got Ozempic versus Munjaro versus Wegovi versus Zepbound. Let's break it all down. The active ingredient of Ozempic and Wegovi is semaglutide. The only real difference is that Wegovi is FDA approved specifically for weight loss, while Ozempic is approved for diabetes. But they use the same active ingredient to get the job done. But both are approved for sale at different dosages. Wegovi is typically at higher dosages than Ozempic in the pen. The same sort of scenario exists with Monjaro and Zepbound, which are both Terzepatide active ingredient. Same deal. Zepbound is the weight loss version and Monjaro has FDA approval for diabetes management. So what's the difference between actual semaglutide and, and terzipatide? Terzipatide actually targets two hunger-related hormones instead of one. This difference is why we believe many patients see more weight loss, fewer cravings, and sometimes better blood sugar um, control, uh, but it's not for every single person. The best medication is actually the one that works for you with manageable side effects, or no side effects would be great, consistent access to the meds, and sustainable progress, be it for diabetes control or for weight. You should also absolutely talk to a doctor before deciding which one you need. An expert in these medications will be able to walk you through your specific pros and cons and help you make an informed decision. So what to expect, I mean the timeline, side effects and results while on these medications starting to finish. Here's a quick timeline of what you should expect when you start. Now remember, everyone is different so I'm telling you what I've seen personally in this office with the few hundred people I've treated and counseled so far on GLP-1 medications and lifestyle changes. Week one to two, usually complaints, nausea, fatigue, or constipation, super common. Some people also feel a little bit bloated or have some reduced appetite almost immediately. Start slow and stay hydrated. Very important at the beginning. Week three to four, you'll likely notice you're eating less without even trying. Cravings start to drop, you might begin to even see changes on the scale. By month two and beyond, progress builds, your eating patterns begins to shift, you might feel more in control around food than you have in years. But plateaus and side effects can still pop up. That part of any weight loss process should be celebrated. And did I say the magic word? <laughs> Okay, uh, we are back, but uh, don't expect results overnight. That's the next thing, right? If you can find a way to stay consistent and committed, GLP-1s are a powerful tool. So what are some lifestyle tips that maximize results? Let's talk strategy, because while these medications work, your results will be 10 times better with the right habits. So first, prioritize proteins. 
In every meal, it keeps you full, helps preserve muscle, and improves satiety so you don't feel deprived. Think about eggs and chicken, Greek yogurt, lentils, lean pieces of beef and meat, a quality protein shake to top it off if you really can't make your number. Remember to stay hydrated. Dehydration makes side effects worse and slows digestion. Aim for at least half your body weight in ounces of water per day and a little bit more if you're actually exercising and working up a sweat. Get light movement daily. A 20 minute walk to start after meals can lower blood sugar and improve digestion. Over time, add more time. Try adding strength training at least twice a, a week to maintain your metabolism and support fat loss and you don't wanna lose muscle. Get active for at least 150 to 300 minutes a week. Limit greasy, high fatty meals right after injections. They can actually worsen nausea and delay gastric emptying even more, which makes you feel worse. Try starting the day with something super easy to digest. Um, chicken broth if you have to, protein shakes or cooked veggies. Sleep matters. Aim for seven to eight hours per night. Poor sleep increases ghrelin, the hunger hormone that makes it harder to control cravings or stick to your goals. Go away ghrelin, go away. <laughs> Pay attention to stress management. High stress spikes cortisol, which can stall weight loss. Try breath work, walking outdoors, separating yourself from this stressor. Try journaling. Even 10 minutes a day helps. Make sure to address any and all mental health issues that may be simmering under the under the surface and, and get in the way of your progress. This is one of the hardest things to do for so many people. And quite honestly, after nutrition and exercise, I've seen that this is where so many people fall short. It's about time we all accept the fact that it's okay to not be okay. The real issue with mental health lies in not addressing it appropriately. So do what my man Marshawn Lynch said. Take care of your mentals. You feel me though? Take care of your mentals because look, we ain't lasting that long. Build an environment that supports success. That means keep trigger foods out of the house, preparing meals in advance without, when, when possible, and creating routines that remove decision fatigue. Um, also, keep folks around you who are you know, not on the same journey, <laughs> keep them in line. If they're not on your uh, wavelength with uh, eating and exercising, and they tend to be a bad influence for you, maybe, maybe you need a break. Now, look, these aren't extreme uh, or complicated rules. They're actually sustainable adjustments that let the medication do its job while you build the habits that will make your results last. Let me simplify it for you a bit more. I call these the five pillars to achieving a healthy lifestyle change. This is a lifestyle change of any kind, and without them, you're actually doing it the hard way. Number one, nutrition knowledge. Number two, exercise excellence. Number three, sleep hygiene. Number four, stress management. And number five, mental health awareness. If you can get these things to at least an 80% proficiency um, on your healthcare journey, you are well on your way to being the best version of you. So let's take a break and talk about the sponsor of this video. It's 2025, we've got self-driving cars, AI in your pocket, and finally, a modern way to treat obesity that makes your life easier. No waiting months for a doctor's appointment or seeing providers who aren't experts in weight loss meds. Mochi Health connects you with real obesity experts, online from the comfort of your couch or on your stationary bike. <laughs> They'll walk you through options like GLP-1 medications, review your labs, and customize a plan for you. They've even got licensed dietitians on deck. This isn't cookie cutter weight loss, it's clinical, it's personal, it's how I want my viewers to be treated when I can't help them myself. By people who understand the science, the process, and the struggle. Click the link in the description to start your journey with Mochi Health, because the future of weight loss care, it's already here. And now let's talk about how to do the injections because I know that part can feel intimidating if you've never done it before. The good news, it's easier than you think. Most GLP-1s are once weekly injections and they come in simple auto-injectable pens. They're designed to be beginner friendly. You inject them under the skin of your, uh, of your stomach, your arm or your thigh, and they take just a few seconds. I made a full video walking you through the process, a step-by-step -step process, if they come in a vial. So if you're nervous, check out the link in the description and there you go. So my final thoughts, GLP-1 medications are powerful tools, but they're not magic 
bullets. The real results come when you combine these medications with smart habits, realistic expectations, and a willingness to play the long game with a focus on the five pillars. Hey, while you're here, check out more of my videos if you're looking for easy to follow, practical videos, and subscribe to get notified when I post our next video to help keep you successful on your GLP-1 journey. Thanks for watching this video, and in the meantime, stay healthy, stay informed, and I will see you soon.